All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you today how to save your launch configurations in Warp, which is a new feature that just launched. So for example, I can open up uh, two tabs in a Warp window with different starting directories. I can also do something like open up a tab with split panes already set up in the way that I like. I can even run certain commands uh, on start of my Warp session. So that's just a quick preview of what we're going to cover. This video is going to be split into three sections. Number one is how to create a launch configuration easily with just our UI. The second section is going to go over how to edit your launch configuration with the .yaml file, which is going to allow you to do some extra stuff like saving commands in your configuration. And in the third scenario, we're going to go through an example application of launch configurations that can be useful in your day-to-day -day workflow. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in this first section, I'm going to show you how to very easily set a launch configuration within Warp using the UI. So first you're going to want to open up your desired configuration of windows, tabs, and panes. For the pure purposes of this demo, I'm going to open up two windows and in the second window I'm going to have two tabs and in the second tab I'm going to split the pane, so I have two panes. And in the second pane, I am going to specify the directory as the open source themes repo that I often use in my YouTube demos. Okay, so now let's say I want to save this configuration so I don't have to do the setup every single time I open up a new instance of Warp. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control Command L, and this is going to open up my launch configuration palette. If you don't want to remember that new keyboard shortcut, you can always press Command P to open up the Warp command palette and then press hashtag to search for a launch configuration. Okay, so now to save this launch configuration, I'm going to press on this plus sign here and it's going to pop up a dialog letting me know that I'm about to save this configuration. It also tells me that the details of this configuration is going to be saved into a .yaml file at this location. In the next section, I'll dive a little bit deeper into how to edit and write a YAML file to specify something like this. And then here is an input box that will ask me to name this config. So I will name this two of everything yaml and then i'm going to press this button to officially save the launch configuration cool so it's successfully saved and if i go back into warp and press Control command l i will see the launch config that i just saved so two of everything and if i click on it it will open up two warp windows as you can see with one of the windows having two tabs one of these tabs having two panes and one of these panes already being in my themes directory awesome and that is how you save a launch configuration all right, in this second section, I'm going to now show you how to edit a launch configuration using a YAML file, which, as I mentioned before, allows you to also save commands to run on start. So let's go ahead and repurpose the launch configuration from section one that I named two of everything. Just to recap, this is going to open up two windows, one window having two tabs, one tab having two panes, and one pane being set to a specific directory. Now let's say that in one of the windows, I actually want to spin up a Python session. Uh, we recently had a user tell us that they love to use Warp to quickly spin up and try things in Python. So shout out to that user for inspiring this part of the demo. Now to do this, we're going to need to edit the .yaml file for this specific launch configuration. All the YAML files related to launch configs will live in the directory called .warp slash launch underscore configurations. So let's head into that directory. I'm going to go ahead and open up the two of everything.yaml file. One cool thing is that we actually just had file clicking also go live recently in warp. So instead of opening up the file from my command line, so I might usually do something like code uh, two of everything.yaml, which will open this up in VS code. I can actually just command click this right here and it will open up the file in VS code for me. Okay, so now we want to add something to this .yaml file that will run a command to spin up a Python session on start. At the top of the file, you'll see a link to our official documentation for this feature. The engineer who built this out did a great job documenting it and there are a lot of good examples in this official doc that you can just refer to or copy paste. But below we actually see an example already written out for us on how to add a command. So all I have to do is go ahead and copy paste these two lines right here and add it right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of formatting 
and then I'm going to go ahead and change this command from code dot to Python because that is the command that I want to run when the warp session starts up. Cool, now I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and I'm gonna head back into warp. Cool, now I'm going to press Control Command L one more time to open up my launch configuration palette and click on my two of everything launch config. And you can see that in this window, Python has already been started up without me having to type anything. And that is all due to the changes I just made in the .yaml file for this specific launch configuration that specifies that Python will run in this window when this config starts up. All right, in this final section, I will show you a more practical application of launch configuration, specifically geared towards front-end development. So in a warp window, I'm going to open up two tabs. In the first tab, I am going to split panes, so command D to split panes. In both panes, I am going to navigate into my React app. And this is a TypeScript React project I created for the purposes of this demo. The way I usually like to separate it out is having the left pane for all Git related changes. So adding files, committing files, um, pushing them to a remote branch, or even reverting or going through old commits. Now in the right pane, I like having this for basically anything I need to do. So for example, I could open up and edit my files in my project using Vim. So I could go ahead and use Vim to edit my readme file. I can also go ahead and open up these files in my favorite code editor like VS Code. All I have to do is command click and it will open up VS Code for me. Now in this second tab that I've opened up, I'm also going to head into uh, the React app I've created. And I'm going to run a command called npm start, which is going to generate a build of my project. And basically this command is going to allow me to see the changes to my web app by clicking on this link here. Um, so I haven't added anything to app.tsx, but when I do, I will be able to see the UI changes in this web browser. And as long as I keep this tab open running this command, all changes I make to my files will automatically update on that web browser. So that is my launch configuration. I am now going to save this launch configuration using the steps from section one. So control command L to open up the launch configuration panel, pressing on the plus button here. I'm going to save this as react-demo. All right, it is successfully saved. And as you remember from section two, I actually need to edit this YAML file to save the command uh, npm start to run on the start of the session. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file in VS Code, and I'm going to add these two lines of code over here and doing the same thing from our demo in part two, I'm going to replace code dot with the command npm start and I'm gonna save this YAML file. All right, cool, so now I'm back in warp. I'm going to press control command L again to open up my launch configurations panel. I see the React demo launch configurations and when I click on it, it will open up uh, what I set up before. So again, two split panes, both already in my React app Git repository and the second tab already running uh, npm start. And you can see that the web browser has already been pulled up and is running. And yeah, so I can use this launch configuration in the future to jump straight into my development process more efficiently without having to spend time setting everything up. All right, everybody, I hoped that this demo helped. As always, the official documentation will be linked in the bio below. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.